Good morning, children. How are you today? Hmm? The past two days have been psychologically battering, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is a day of really shitty games, and then just a day of weird shit. Just weird fucking stuff, man. I don't think even being able to understand Finnish would have helped yesterday. I just think, like, there's no way that fucking Invertaxi wasn't something so bafflingly deep into f some kind of, I don't know, Finnish satire. I want to guess. You know, trying to throw as many things at the fucking ideal wall and see, uh, uh, trying to eliminate some things. Probably wasn't an educational title. Gotta be fucking grim if it was. Gotta just who are at your children, and that damages their language centers enough to fucking adapt to finish. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Look, a shitty fucking space invader knockoff. You know what? Good. That's just that's that's simple. I can pass this. I can wrap my fucking brain around. What looks okay? Look, there's like insects and there's a rat at the top. Okay. There's a theme. Yeah, look. Spacebar fires. Rat. I mean, that's playing a demo, but like still, you know. High scores. I recognize those. Alright, being dead in the middle when it's running too fast isn't, like, good. You just get fucking annihilated. <sighs> okay, I mean, look, it's like fucking trans-color beetle fucking... I think it's still going too fast. Uh, that's just thoroughly challenging. <laughs> Ah, yeah, see now, this is a little more classic. See, now this is, this is beginner speed, you know, this is how... <laughs> this is basically what it's like living in Brisbane after, like, you know, it's been raining for days. And you've just... All the things want to be in where it's dry. It's just, no, no. I'm not, I'm not dealing with you or whatever you are. They're increasing speed! God, I still remember when this was a fucking arcade. Oh, fuck, that, that guy's getting close. What the little destruction graphic of my little tank? That was actually that was actually well animated. What did they thicken the slime with at Nickelodeon? Everybody jack off. You know, if it were like fucking, you know, like. Just pre Roman Celt, it would have been common in the slime. You know? You just needed something that you couldn't just go get xanthan gum from the shop, you know. Xanthan gum was just stuff that came out of a guy called Xanthan. <sighs> well, that's nice. Don't ever want to play it, but that's nice. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> 1985 is perilously close to, like, the actual Space Invaders enough. I'm surprised you weren't getting in trouble for that, you know? Disco Invaders. That's a weird question, bastard. 
like not that like seeing Iron Maiden's an impossibility, just that it's like, you know, it, it that's extremely specific. Because it's not like, you know, in September, it's not like they're just gonna suddenly sp just spontaneously be everywhere. Like there's not gonna be some kind of Iron Maiden superposition where we're all just gonna be able to look. Like they're gonna be in one location. Arcade Perfect Space Invaders in the home. That's probably better than the arcade, actually. Ah, oh, penis cock shit ass. It sounds like a Dalek gargling. Oh, yeah, I'll get one with vertical lines. I don't want one of those little penis head buggers to be the last one I have to get, you know? Whoops. Ah, ah fuck it, who cares? This is basically true. Ah, I fucked myself there. That's basically what trench warfare was like. That was just like France versus Germany. Just shuffling along. Dying. <laughs> A lot of people relative to seeing like one band is still not a lot of people, though, you know? Like... <sighs> you know, it's nice to just have, like, a bunch of shooters, even if, like, two of them are just space invaders. You know? It's nice to just have... This has just been... It's been no hassles so far. You know? It's not been great, but, like, so what? Eyeballs. Okay. This feels like an apogee. Fuck, look at this with its animation. And being a bit more like Galaga. Ooh, fuck off with your little bits. How long will that do? That's okay, that's a power-up. I feel like they... Ugh. Okay, so is it all just suicide attacks? Is like that, that what I have to fucking worry about? Because I keep seeing little spots come off them, and I'm worried those are shots. Oh, penis shit fuck ass. He touched my bum. Okay, so I feel like the... See, that looks like a bullet. What the shit? Oh, fuck off. Huh, alright. Okay, I just have that. That was on me. Ow! Fucking... Like, you've gotta... You can't... Mm, you can't have your little biscuits be kind of like the same... A similar size and shape to like the fucking... You know... Like, the, ga the games where that works, it's like a big thing. It usually has like a letter on it, you know? But I mean, that wasn't bad. When was that made? Like, this feels like one of those ones that's, like, way more modern. Uh, 95. Eh. Like, you know, that was lovely animation. It fucking worked. I think I'll leave that one. Invincible Fighter. Hmm. Alright. It's not in English, so there's a shot this might be actually okay. You remove the centipede clones, which is the dark souls of space invaders. 
I feel like your punishment protagonist is you should say the things you say into a mirror while making eye contact with yourself. Super Turbo. 93. Alright, that's interesting because that's real early. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to. F okay, it's one. Oh, okay, so one person versus. Okay. Oh, look, don't dick me around here. Just, like, let's. Up. Oh. <laughs> I think it's running a bit quick. I'm USA Morrison. Alright, let's. Uh, I mean, what, 93? I know it says 89 there, but man, I had a 386 still in the 90s, so. So for some reason the D-pad isn't the controls, and I fucking swear to. Okay, up, down, left, right. Guard high, guard low. I mean that's not great. Trouble. Ah, oh, the fucking jump buttons are the wrong buttons. All right. So this is not going to be great, but you know. Why do that? Alright, usually these single button fucking fighting games. There's not a lot of what we call hit detection. I have no idea what she's saying. Shame. This is like it's so close to being functional. Like again, it's just that thing of like when you hit, just sort of nothing happens. You know, you can't really tell you've made contact, and there's just not enough in the way of you know feedback to really. You, know, you get so close, and you hit and whip, and it's just going through. That's not great. Like, it's a very, very, very rare Johnny bag. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, let's try and... Okay, we've got, uh... Hmm. This is just a deeply troubling... Okay, Brocken from World Heroes. Uh, Warring States, period. For some reason, America Whip Lady, I think is like the main character. Alright, Gaya Vega. Asian hat. And guy who I'm pretty sure does Muay Thai. I want to say the grappler, but I just don't know. Japan, okay. Well, he's from Japan. What? Tori! <laughs> Future Sumo has gotten weird. I mean, at least his fat guy kick is like better. Oh, wait. Okay, I appear to have some kind of special. It's like next to no pushback, which is not great. <laughs> oh god. Can I start something different here? Oh hell yeah, I found like the intro. Yeah, there's like notes of Samurai Showdown. Okay, 
yeah, so this is like, this is like Ken and Ryu, and not like Whip Lady, and I don't even know what kind of archetype that is, you know? I don't know who the fat guy with the... Like, what's that supposed to be? I mean, the sumo diet's actually incredibly healthy. It's just, again, they, they eat like a bathtub full of soup, and then they have a sleep. I gotta find my main. That's a problem. I just haven't found someone I clicked with. I mean, this guy looks fucking like one of the more normal guys. Like, I, it's gotta be, yeah. Okay, he's Canadian, which I wasn't expecting. What the fuck? Okay, what's block? It's a button. I can't remember. What's that? Is that his hair? Alright, so I found out they have more than one move, that's good to know. I don't know what's happening at any given point in this game. Alright, so... Canadian ponytail guy, not my man. No, we're just not gonna get along with him. Canada Mercator. Oh, fuck me! That was USA Morrison again. One of the best things in the world is fighting game character select screens becoming consoleized and getting away from the arcade principle of if you push any button you're stuck as this character and fuck you. Like, just letting me... Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see what the fuck tragedy this is. Is it... North Korea, hell yeah! <laughs> NK. North Korea. Let's see that often. What the shit? I'd love to see the frame data for this. Isn't that the fucking... Reach around Stan from fucking Jojo. Uh, who gave that to North Korea? Alright, look, that's terrible. It, it just, it is what it is. Iris, Vince, it's not, no. It's, it's been thoroughly and deeply vinced. This, it just doesn't work. It, like, but everything else can be fucking stupid, but you need the bare mechanics. I, I at least need to know and feel like when I've hit something. And vice versa. Because otherwise, I don't know what to do. Otherwise, I'm just pushing buttons. You know? I'm just mashing shit like a fucking maniac. And I, I, I can't even... You know... <sighs> Is this gonna give me, like, telekinetic powers, like... Lawnmower man. Because that'd be fun. Internet porn must be wild for him since he uploaded. You know, like, what, what must that be like? Just like, God, goodness. I think this is some kind of foreign. Oh, look, they have one for people who are slow. That's good. Yeah, like, I mean, 
Mod kind of cracks me up in a lot of ways. Like, particularly, like, just the fucking... <laughs> the name. Mardic. Huh. I think I've... I think I've actually played this. Completely forgot it existed. Let's see what happens when Dungeons and Dragons and Take Two Interactive attempt a fighting game. I feel like it's gonna have Battle Arena to Shinden notes. You know, that's that's kind of Alright, well at least it appears to be loading, that's nice. Is he Canadian? I just don't know. Like I'm not really I don't you know, I don't play Tekken. Because I'm, you know, a normal person. Take two interactive. Ah, oh, I bumped the button. I mean, on the plus side, there's a training, so that's all right. Let's let, let let's pop into that. That's a healthy array of characters. Yeah, you know, so far so good. You never know. You never know. I mean, half the fucking fighting games I play mostly are weird old fighting games that nobody remembers or likes or cares about. Oh, hell yeah, look at that little guy. Furry, a skeleton. Is that like a fucking evil kangaroo? I don't even know what the fuck's going on there. Some kind of wizard, lady with a stick, a halfling, a lady warrior, a dude warrior, some kind of elf. Siegfried, uh, a dwarf, uh, horny, um, I'm not even sure what's going on there. Alright, let, let's just go him. I, I like the look of that guy. Alright, let's beat up a midget with a bowl cut, because yeah, you just can't argue with that. Alright, so, we're, we're going a, ta a touch quick here. Uh, hmm. a touch slow. For some reason, left and right does, like, fucking space-shifting rolls, which I'm not looking for. I mean, up and down seem to work, though, so... Alright, okay, we'll go Pentium 2. It still says a touch fast, so we'll take a few... Take a few degrees off of that. I mean, look, I can see what's going on there, at least. Alright, so... I just kicked him in his little midget soul. Yeah, stop it, stop it. Okay, I got block. Because like dodge and fucking just ramming speed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Yeah, look, that's... <laughs> just some fucking screaming going on in the background. Uh, but but uh. Yeah, why, why, fucking, who, absolute fucking moron, fucking did these. <laughs> run left, run right, interesting. Double fucking glue. Uh, okay, that's up. I don't know, make the, make the fighting game, I'll make the D-pad just a bunch of weird functions. Mini. Okay, so what do we got? We got uh, strong attack, normal attack, fast attack, high block. Again, that is that's that's terribly laid out. Oh, fucking goddamn. Okay. I mean, generally, like I'd make one of the L and R's. Crouch attack low. Make high attack. Miscellaneous attack. That's interesting. Alright, strong, normal, fast, uh, fucking that is just... What is make attack high? I 
I swear I've got like two at two blocks. Domination. Alright, come here, you little bugger. That looks like it should be two hits and it isn't. I mean, the blood's fun. Man, I accidentally fucking picked him again. I mean, early reporting is, this sucks. Like, you see what I mean about that second hit? Like, it feels like it should be a, you know, a hit. Alright, so I don't think you can leave, there's no ring outs, there's like... Alright, that's... I'm gonna chalk some of this up to just like the fucking... Oh, he's saying combination. Alright, well I've got block. Okay. And roll. Got shove. I don't even know what this fucking game would consider a goddamn special move. I just, uh. Let's try fucking like Siegfried or whatever. I feel like this is a mix of issues, you know? Like, I feel like there's some absolutely just baffling control settings. <sighs> Which is disappointing, man. Like, I fucking, you know. Because what happens is that I have to. I don't want to calibrate, that's just going to fucking create all sorts of trouble. Oh, on, please. I think that might be frame skip, and I don't want frame skip. Okay, let's just go around. We'll pick, we'll pick normal McSword dude, like, you, you know. Okay, Luthal versus Cock, or something. I don't know if there's any way to make that work better. Like, am I tackling with the sword there? Like, why am I not just hitting with the sword? Like, every time... Is that... What? I think the guy just yells combination no matter what. Goodness gracious.
I'd rather play Mace the Dark Age. Oh. Well, that's fucking... That, that was a lot of help, though, guys. Thanks. It's fucking acclaim. You know, that's... Let's publish any old piece of shit. Loose the spirit in the machine! I mean, it has a training mode. Alright, let's see what the fucking... You know, normal attack, fast attack, strong attack, high attack, low attack. Okay. High block, crouch block block. See, this is the thing, is, like, if I wanted to make sure I was controlling this fucking properly, I'd have to set it to the keyboard, map it to these things, like, separately. Combo start. That's interesting. Headbutt. Alright, two of your special moves. Great. Why wouldn't you tell me how to do those, you fucking ninja? Ergo the Margoil. Like, I just don't think there's much really improving this, you know? I mean, it would need, like, I don't know, some fucking hacking or editing or something. Is it even a ROM hack if it's a fucking computer game? You know, if it's on DOS? Like, can't you just open it up and go, hey, stop being shit? Can't you politely request it, like, fucking function? Steering. That's interesting. I don't know, I'll leave that there for now, because uh, we'll probably want to fiddle with that at some point. Iron Assault! Alright, I can wait a second. I need to go to the turret.
Combo start didn't... Okay. It's not a launcher. You're thinking way too modern and how, like, a well-designed game might work. If you pushed combo start, they did, like, a lunging attack and the voice would go, combination, and it would be a two-hit attack, but only one of the attacks would hit, and I have no idea what else it was supposed to do. Like, you've got to... You have to uncouple your brain from anything that sounds like it's sensible and well-thought-out design. You know, yeah, like if it was a launcher or something, that would make sense. You know, that... That is not the world we live in, tragically. We live in a, a world where you can just make games like that. You'd make a fighting game with people who I don't think have ever seen a fighting game. Ooh, look at that. Let's view the intro. What is that? Gunhead. Any all seen Gunhead? Destruction hung heavy in the air. Millions had already perished in the most destructive war the world had ever witnessed. You know what? So war far, so good. Not with guns and missiles, but with giant and deadly machines. Fuck yeah! I mean, they probably had guns and missiles, but still. <laughs> All right, that's. Is this stop motion action figures? I think it is. Giant Tech Corporation vowed to crush anything in its way in its pursuit of world domination. Oh, this is great. It's some guys fucking Brave few had fought models. against all odds to repel the horrific onslaught. A band of rebels who have been able to amass a force strong enough to fight back, possibly even win. The fate of the world lies with you and your brave band of rebels. Hell yeah. I mean, whatever that thing is, you see what I mean? Like, that looks like if you made a mech out of the Elephant Man. It just looks like a bunch of distended flesh on some legs. Yeah, you heard me. You don't look right. Okay. Nope. You alright? I mean, I'm, I feel like the game's not going to be very fun for me, but like, I do love all of this. This is just great. Fucking... Oh, my probe! <laughs> Guy making toys out of fucking shit, you know, stuff out of his Ed 209 toys. I'm kind of curious as what the... controller. Let's see if I can just fucking... Okay, so we've got left, we've got right, forward, we've got back. Okay, forward also makes me fucking... I don't know. Uh. Alright, let's just use the fucking... Alright, for some reason, I can't... I think this is like relative, so I'm not rotating. That's, you know, like I'm a tank on top, you know? So I can, I can like look around, but I can't like. Alright, found missiles. 
Alright. Zero down. And the, okay, I just gotta stop using the fucking. The stick is just madness. It's just dreadful. Oh, blew that up. Alright, so I feel like if I, if I turn enough in a direction, I kind of vaguely wander off that way. Okay, so the function key is... Ah, fuck! I can't look straight ahead. Ah, oh, there's a manual. Okay. Alright, figure some of this shit out. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. Okay, look, where is, just tell me how to fucking steer my goddamn robot elephant man. The world net computer. Some kind of web of logic machines. Okay, map. Alright, look, just how... Okay. Yeah, this is a bit insane. <sighs> I mean, I think this is mappable. You know, like, I think if I went in and manually fucking mapped it, it'd be possible to have, like, you know, left, right. Reverse speed. Fiddle with some things. It's not too bad. Alright. You know, I am going to keep that. The mind is human, yet the brain is electric. One hand of flesh controls, another made of steel. Thanks, Gary Newman. Did I think I had this. Like, I actually think I had the fuck. I had that on the, the box. Crazy Uncle Wolf Child and his Zeppelin throwing silver dollars. Alright. Okay. Yep. All right, let's let's do skip along here. Family production. Weapon punch. I mean, look at this guy. Look at that. Look at his little walk. Damn 
Like, if I double tap, I get, like, fucking my little scooty dash. And whatever that is. Miss me, bitch. That voice is just, like, that voice is in the wrong game. I don't, I question the wisdom of like an insane long forward dash of power geyser, you know? Alright, remember to write Memento Mori on the wall, you know, like a real factory. Work. Nintendo Fist. I didn't jump for some reason. Fucking wasted my goddamn bomb laser and it didn't even do anything. Vulcan, I don't use any of these things. Oh! that like I get some armor please. Ooh, that better be fucking juice. Hey, alright, there's armor juice, I don't know how that works. Get back here, you motherfucker. Oh, oh fucking cheeky bastard. Ah, you binge. Well look at that be fun and playable. Still like the old yeah, no, I definitely had that. I'm not sure I ever even got a fucking working there. Oh, look at that, you can be somebody else. I think that might actually be like... That rings a bell. I feel like that's got like either a version or... something on... Like, Maybe based on the same property that there's a... A uh, PC Engine game based on. All right, and now Hitler. Well, we were bound to run into something eventually. Couldn't all just be like fucking, you know. There might be something on Steam. Like, there are loads of indie Metroidvanias getting about these days. Load pats. Oh, I know it's going to be strategy. I mean, come on, man. 
You think there's gonna be a fucking <laughs> some kind of anime girl brawler? Like that's why I said we couldn't. You know, it couldn't last forever. <laughs> I really feel like this game is like from the German point of view. Bazooka, uh, flamethrower, hell yeah. Don't tell me how to World War II. Oh god. Autism. I'm suspicious of new world computing. I mean, this could be anything. Probably a fucking, yeah. <laughs> Something has changed. Somehow it's different. Someone must be stopped. <laughs> uh, Ubisoft? That's fantastic. That's just the best Vegas fucking... Something has changed. Somehow it's different. Someone must be stopped. <laughs> uh, just me screaming that in the Woolworths when they fucking rearrange the shelves. Something has changed. Somehow it's different. Someone must be stopped. I have an extreme but non-specific issue and I'm going to yell until someone fucking helps me. Something. Someone. Possibly. Why have a finger if you, if I can't like use it with the mouse? Like, don't do that. Don't fucking. Alright. Alright. I'm guessing that's the someone. Oh, I'm that little guy up there. Fuck me. You know, having this little fucking Legend of Zelda overworld fucking thing, I'm just toddling about, you know. Northeast, okay. Is, is that it? Like, how do I know what the fucking tower looks like? Uh. You can just, oh, that's just where I was earlier. You can kind of just get hooked on any little bit, you know. Alright, well, how about I ignore my ancestral castle and go to, like, a village or some shit, you know. I can't finger the village. What's the point of being a fucking king? Okay, yeah, I'm in the little village of Chutney Marlbury with the annual archery contest. Herbal listed by the fountain. See, that's, you know, look at that. That's... Can I find the fountain? That's the fucking question. Alright, that looks like a fountain. Or something. Are these doors or windows? Like, you gotta, you gotta just have, like, something that looks like a fucking door, so I know what I'm doing, guys. Come on. His face. Uh, mouse. Doesn't seem to do anything. The house to the east. 
Oh, the fountain is owned by the herbalist. Okay. So. Like, it's kind of something that, you know. I think I'll leave that because I'm curious. Uh, anus. <sighs> this is what happens when you don't let fucking Capcom make your goddamn Marvel fighting game. Cube. Production company, isn't it? Title screen. Look, just let's fucking get to this, please. Alright, let's take a little peeky peek at the fucking controls. Not oh, down left, right, great. Kick, jump, laser punch. Un no. Okay. I don't have the mental energy for that. No. No. Man selected. Mission Ethan. Oh no, this is the one on Azra, yeah, it's this one. I don't know what un this is me unknowing. I'm unknowing stuff there. I want to be fucking Man of War. I was thinking of the really terrible fighting game that... Uh, what was the name of that one? <laughs> oh, it's a terrible, terrible game. Like, it's... You know, it, it, it's like vaguely functional at best. It's the best thing you can say. It's like you can, you, there's kind of hit detection. You can use the laser. You know, that, like it's more functional than a completely non-functional DOS game, but it is ugly, boring. No, no, no. There's a shitty um, Marvel fighting game that has like this similar shitty fucking graphics, and I can't remember the name of it. I think it's an arcade only one. It's oh God, I can't remember the name of it now. It's gonna drive me nuts. I mean, Man of War. Yeah. Who even is this cunt? Exo Man of War selected. Mission. Fist. I appear to have block. That's nice. I mean, I wanted to just use laser, but okay. Is he really gonna is he really gonna walk like that this whole fucking game? Walk 
walking. Stop fucking walking. Seems to be wave. Okay, I'm, I don't know how I did that. Oh, look at the way he walks. I mean, at least he has a block, you know? Like, I'll give him that. Like, look at that. I mean, he can't walk and block for some reason. Double lasers! Oh yeah, you can't block me now, can you, bitch? Ow, what was that? Look at the way he walks. I can't stop staring at him. What's even going on in this? Like, why am I blowing up green mutants? This feels like they got, like, the license for these two characters and, like, another villain. So just with, like, you know, oh, uh, yeah, look out, Steve's doing something. Why didn't I land? What the fuck was that? Oh, he just cocked butt. Oh, yeah, this was during the desperation period. Hell yeah, do you want the you want the marble license? Yeah. Ah. I just make like a bird of my hand. Why come? How do I get up there? Okay, he's gone now for some reason. Is that Ghost Rider or is that guy on fire? I don't know what that accomplished. Just 
like the worst game design. No way. I'm not really sure where you're going at any point. You just get trapped in certain areas where you can't like make head or tail of what you're doing. Just the background is brown. Maybe I'm supposed to hand wave at it. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because I mean, uh, oh, okay, there, there, okay, there's, uh, I just could not see, I, what was I looking for there? Was it that? Eat my pissing shit. Iron Man versus. Give me some health. You died, Dennis. Iron Man versus XM piece of shit. Fucking. Look at that background. Listen to the music. <laughs> that fucking. Good lord. Exo Man of War. Ultimate boss battles. Multi hit combos. <laughs> just, I love going through this shit and then you get to the game screenshot and it's like. I am now. It's, it has basic functionality. Like, it, I, I, and again, these are these are good testaments to sort of like elements of game design because there are things where it's just you've made something that doesn't work at a fundamental level. Is, you know, like that that fighting game. It just didn't work as a fighting game because of elements of how it was, you know, programmed. This works as the game it's trying to be. I push jump, I jump. I push shoot, I shoot. I shoot a guy. There's punch and there's kick sometimes, there's block. One guy has block that blocks, you know, bullets. Great. All of that is basically functional. The basic function of the game does work. The rest of it is shitty shit shit shitty shit 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 shit. And you'd, you'd just get lots of games like this back in the day, you know, like... And I know they're about now, but also, like, because there's so many indie games, like, and things people make by themselves, and things made in Slovenia from, like, stolen fucking Unreal assets and shit. Like, it's a lot easier, like, you don't get as many of these, you don't get these things with the same level of focus, you know? Like, this was a game that was released with a Marvel license across multiple platforms on discs that you had to go into a store and buy, you know? This wasn't just some fucking piece of poo that was like a dollar ninety nine on Steam. You know, if you buy a dollar ninety nine piece of shit, then yeah, I, you know, you're kind of gonna get. You, if you can't figure out that it's probably gonna be bad, you know, make sure your carer is nearby at all times. You know, the basics are just the fundamentals of it these days. It's just so easy to make a game like this that actually does work, and is also not just fucking hot garbage. Like, trying to get up that fucking area, it's like, okay, I, I kind of figured out I can fly, that's okay, I figured that out on my own. You know, it's an Iron Man game, he can fly. Okay. But just working out where to go up in this brown, pixely smear of shit. Working out that I could destroy one of the bits of roof. It's like, what indication was there? You know, like, yeah, like, I, that's the thing. But yeah, these were... You know, I remember this being, like, you could get this fucking, you'd see that this is a magazine ad, you know? Like, you would see this shit in magazines. They had, this had an advertising budget. Acclaim fucking put this shit out. Bi-directional firepower. Oh, that's right, Exo Man of War. We talked about this, wasn't we? It's like Valiant or some shit. Iron 
concede. Oh, robot cum is going to have to wait till tomorrow. What was the name of I gotta look that fucking terrible fucking fighting game up. I know it's around here somewhere. It might even be ported to a console. Not Avengers. Not something on fucking Android. Not Marvel vs. No, it might have been Captain America or something actually, but Iron Man was in it. Avengers in Galactic Storm. That's it. Oh yeah, there she blows. Data East. Whew. Don't play Avengers and Galactic Storm. It's only on arcade. So I don't have it anywhere in here. Yeah, reviews were weird. Like, you go back in time, man, you'll see some insane fucking reviews for, you know... Like, uh, is the reviews for, uh, oh God, what is it? The PS1 Castlevania game that's wonderful. You know, it got ragged on for not being 3D. There are terrible games that got, like, you know, good reviews. I mean, that was the argument back then. You needed to buy the fucking company magazines because the company magazines had previews. You know, the company magazines had stuff that would actually be coming up. And would have pictures of these things because they were all fed to them by the fucking you know it was a company magazine it was their promo shit so it meant you'd you'd get actual stuff that was coming out you get pictures of it that were clear and you go ah but then like you know you didn't trust the fucking reviews you had to go get like the fucking third party magazines to get like some fucking semblance of like hey is this game like actually good or not. Oh, uh, yeah, like, there were online reviews, like, but, you know, nothing like today. It's no, nothing fucking like today. It's not organized, not fucking, you know, systemized. Again, like, it's, you know, there are so many ways to look into a game before you buy it. Like, so fucking, you can watch it being played, which tells you a lot, you know? Like, if you look at the, like, if, you know, even people who aren't very familiar with fighting games, you can look at, like, footage of, you know, a comparable game from 1993. Like, I think it was around Super Turbo. You know, that had been around there. Or Super Street Fighter 2. And then you can look at that fucking Invincible Fighter. And you'd be able to tell the difference. You'd be able to look at those two things and think, huh, one of those looks like it's working better than the other. You know? Same as that, like, fucking Dungeons & Dragons fighting game and say something, not even, like, not even one of the better ones. Like, something like that fucking Mace the Dark Age. You know? Where is Mace? Was that on the 64? I'm pretty sure it was on the 64. I know there's an arcade version, which is, you know, at least looks a little better, but like... Uh, where are we? Oh, there we are. Yeah, like, look at that. You know? Even... Even just on site... If you were going to buy either the fucking D&D &D fighting game or this fighting game, a functioning human brain is going to go, all right, that one looks better. The one on the Nintendo 64 looks better. Word of mouth was a big thing, but A, you, you know, again, you had less mouths and you just, like, some of those mouths would just be like lying dipshits, you know? <laughs> But I get, like these, it's it's just too easy. Like you, you can find everything out about a game. You can find out how it fucking runs. You know, with the exception of like, you know, my problem is I'll be looking up like FAQs for fucking DOS games that you know one other person played, or like, oh, how do I get the Sharp X sixty eight hundred version of this to run properly? You know, then I have you know I, I have trouble then. Ah, gotta get some of these older systems set up. 
Yeah, no, the the big fucking... I don't think I ever bought a game. I definitely rented some and was, like, furious. Like, there are a few games I took, I actually fucking took back to the, you know, the video store. I was just like, no. No, 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 no. I was fortunate enough to never buy anything, because, like, but, you know, buying games was, like, you know, a few times a year sort of thing. Like, you know, one for my birthday, one for my brother's birthday at Christmas, you know, we'd get one each. You know, maybe one in the middle if it was, like, a fucking big deal. But it was, like, you know... We have to go to the fucking game store to go get, like, fucking, you know, Zelda. Like, that's, that's a fairly safe fucking purchase. Like, eventually EB had, like, the one-week rule, where you could return a game if the box and all... If, you know, if it was in still in perfect condition, you could just bring a game back, and it wouldn't be, like, reduced trade-in value. It would just be... You'd get the, you know, the exact cost of it back. So you could just, like, test a game and go, alright, this is shit, and then, you know take it back and go, all right, I'll get something else. <sighs> Which was nice, because that was... Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't rent, like, floppy games, but, like, the video store that... Uh, the, the good in the video store rented PC games on CD-ROMs for a while, like, around the late 90s, just because, you know... Like, yeah, you could copy it, but the tools available to do that just weren't common, you know. Um, also, man, some of those games were scratched. Like, trying to play, like, fucking Pandora Directive. And, like, it was just one of the discs, too. One of the discs that, oh, I fucking don't know, man. Just been in a fight with a cat. And that was a fucking arse. Because everything to do with Rook was just... His video bits would be like... Bip, bip, bip. All right. Fucking next to fucking impossible. Having to use the goddamn built-in hint thing constantly. <sighs> yeah, you know, you had to be very tech-savvy. Like, I remember when the, um... Around 2000, when the... Or, like, late 99, 2000, when the Dreamcast came out, the guy at the EB who sold me the Dreamcast also bootlegged games... Um, that was pretty good. But even then, like, you know, I'm paying five bucks a piece for, the, like, the fucking discs. But, like, you know, that was a thing. A guy who could burn his own Dreamcast games was, like, a find. People just didn't have that shit just sitting around, you know. Uh, PC games were a nightmare. I bought PC games, like, a few times. And f it was frequently a fucking just a disaster. Like, Gabriel Knight crashed on day seven for no known reason, and that was just it. Couldn't fix it. Um, was it Gabriel Knight crashed on day seven? The LucasArts archives, they, was, they were good purchases, though. I was happy with that. Uh, oh, X-Men Children of the Atom. <laughs> that on a... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got that here, actually. Those won't be great. Oh, the Quake conversion. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know how, I don't know why, but a borderline arcade perfect version of X-Men Children of the Atom got released on CD in, like, the late 90s. And it was good. Like, I had to play it with the fucking, you know keyboard, which was a challenge. But I mean, you know. Probe. You know. Combo is the key. Ninjutsu. <laughs> you know, it's like a little pixely, but still, it's like, you know. I'm not getting sound effects for some reason. I'm going to fiddle with that, because, you know, this is a big reason why X-Men 97 has been, like, a big deal for me, is because, like, the, you know, 
you'd watch the X-Men cartoon and then you'd play like Children of the Atom and it's like, yeah, here's fucking Cyclops, you know? Like it was the continuity of the characters. Children of the Atom is a fucking amazing game, but God help me, fucking Magneto is such a fucking prick in this. Like, Capcom respected Magneto. <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah, he's like the, the boss. Yeah, I'm gonna make a fucking. He's gonna be great. That was such a big deal for me. It was me there at home. And, like, back in the day, you couldn't push, like, fucking multiple keyboard presses without something weird happening. Sometimes it just wouldn't detect it at all. So to get, like, QWE wouldn't work as three punch. QWR would work as three punch. I don't know why. Pushing QWE just made the fucking computer beep. ASD worked as three kick. I have no explanation. So we're sitting there, like, fucking playing it. Like, and I played it heaps because it was, you know, it was fucking Children of the Atom at home. Precisely, that is why I have all this shit. Alright, so what? Iron Seed, that's a tomorrow problem. I'm gonna play that on my arcade cabinet. So good. That, yeah. X-Men Children of the Atom, amazing. Avengers and Galactic Storm, fucking terrible. Let the talented fighting game developer make your fighting game. Let, like, the Japanese artists who have grown up loving Marvel comics just go fucking hard on your artwork. Fucking Bengus. Now I follow him on Twitter and he retweets porn ladies. It's just a weird, it's just a weird thing to... It's like when you find fucking James Joyce's letters. It's just, you just weren't ready for that. You know, like the man who wrote Ulysses. And it's, you're just reading just this feral shit. <sighs> Alright, the number's still not high enough, so I despise all of you. Except the ones that do pay me. But you should be smart enough to know that that, you know, doesn't include you. What day is it? It's Wednesday. Tomorrow more of this. Friday even more. Saturday is my court mandated day off. And Sunday we'll be doing more Momodora the Explorer. Um, I beat a titty snake in one. Because if there's one thing I can goddamn do, it's slap about some titty snake. <laughs> yeah, Joyce loved his wife. Parts of us, particularly. It's just seeing it, you know? No one of it would be one thing. Be being able to... You know, it's, it's, uh, that it's among those reasons where, you know, generally I'm of the mind, like, don't... You know, don't write it down if you don't want it read. It's easier to date because you can just like talk to people from a distance. You can't write about how you want to like just fuck farts out of your wife. I'd have to like you don't have to, you'd have to write that in a letter with your your hand and a pen, and put that in a, an envelope and give it to a postman and have that postman mail it to her. You can just be like, you can just tell her that. Look them up if you haven't, because if you've never read them. 
Uh, Mamador is on this. It's like for subscribers. So if you subscribe, uh, it'll the, the the video on demand links and all that are in the subscriber Saturday sections in the Discord. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do the syncing thing. Obviously, I don't have to do it. Somebody will tell you, I'm sure. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it's been fun. You can, you know, you can suggest games. We can sort of talk about doing little one-offs. Maybe if, like, a game's going a bit long, we might do, like, a one-off where we, I don't know, poke through some of these if you really want to see me try and get one of these fucking things to run. <sighs> All right. James Joyce. Loved his wife's anus. Anus. Well, watch my show, or I'll bash your fucking kids. <laughs> 